Tis the season for bearded jolly men, and we have our own Dave Callan. Oh, hello, I'm Dave. You may remember me from shouting at pigeons in the park or suggestively touching potatoes in the supermarket. Well, Christmas is upon us, that magical time when an overweight hairy pensioner breaks into your home and leaves a sack full of mostly useless crap behind. But what if he were to give you five festive gaming wishes instead? What would they be? No, shut up, here's mine. For my first wish, I would like a good reason to dust off my Wii U. I know that sounds dirty, and in the case of my Wii U, it is. I have to get debris and skeletons off it every time I want to play. You know, now that the next generation consoles have arrived, I thought the Wii U might counterpunch with some incredible new games. <laughs> Mario 3D World is nice and all, but honestly, it could be on the first Wii. Stop relying on past glories, Nintendo. Who do you think you are, sure? And bring us something new. Something that wows us like Super Mario Galaxy did. And something that actually gives us a reason to want to touch that touchscreen tablet controller. <laughs> Wish number two, bring back Michael Ironside as Sam Fisher and Mark Hamill as the Joker. No one can replace the incredible voice acting of these two masters. Ironside sounded sneaky yet authoritative, just what a master infiltrator should sound like. Andre Coben, were you saying something about my daughter? And Mark Hamill is the Joker, full stop. I mean, if you wanted to be cured so badly, you only had to ask. <laughs> okay, semicolon. He was pretty great as the son of Darth Vader as well. Wish number three. I would love some HD remakes of retro classics that meant a lot to me in my misspent youth. Although this wish is slightly coming true because they made a remake of Strider. The original Strider in 1989 was a scrolling platformer that had you flipping around dystopian Russia 2048. Wait, when has Russia ever been topian? Sticking to walls and hitting robots in the face with some sort of plasma tonfa. You also had a robot saber-toothed tiger and a hawk. So, I can't wait for the new one. But when are we getting Karnov HD for another 80s Russian fix? Or Bomb Jack? Or Beer Tapper? Especially the sexual version, Root Beer Tapper. And for my fourth wish, there's a game I really want on the Oculus Rift, Animal Crossing. It's already one of the most addictive games ever made, so why not a version that literally straps to my face? Also, I'd like to be able to punch all of the animals in the face when they annoy me. And if I can't have that, then at least bring me a proper full game of the Battle of Yavin Death Star attack. Not just detect them over the trench run. Barreling down that turret-filled gutter of death would be amazing in 3D. Failing that, how about some online multiplayer gaming for the Oculus Rift? Like, I don't know, maybe Patty Cake? Or a headbutting competition? Or Hacky Sack? For my final wish, I'd like more Trevor in my life. And by that, I mean Trevor DLC for Grand Theft Auto V. Pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this. Trevor is the most interesting character in all of GTA's sandbox history. Here's why I love him. One, it's possible to give him a beard and a mullet, which you can and should. Two, every time you cross to him, he is hungover, has killed everyone around him, and is running from the cops. Three, he has the best dialogue in the game. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. Four, voice actor Stephen Ogg is a dude. Props to him. And five, I love his truck. If Rockstar hadn't come up with the idea of three characters, we would never have seen Trevor because he's too extreme to be the main character, yet he seems to be everyone's favorite. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> Plus, he is somewhat redeemed by the end. He has grown, and without spoiling anything, he has the capacity to forgive. 
Well, those are my five gaming wishes for 2014. Please, Santa, please can I have them? I will be good and collect all my Pokemons. Well, that's it for me for this year. Have a great holiday. Dave out.